Hey everyone, this is Mashy Matrix bringing you Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. When we last left off, we uh, herded some sheep. Uh, in this one, we are going to uh, practice with the. Uh, we are actually going to start. I can't remember what we do. Why can't I remember? I believe we're trying to gain money in this one. Let's just hope I'm right. So, uh, we're inside of Link's house. And, uh, we gotta just head outside. As you saw, there were some kids out there trying to talk to us. And, uh, also something that I... Ah, oh, I can't show you right now. Let's just head outside. And away we go. Something particular, per peculiar about, um... About Link. Uh, he has two different colored eyes in this one. Normally he has, uh, blue eyes. So we'll just, uh, head down the ladder. And talk to the little kids. Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot. I wonder how powerful it is. I need it. I need... I must try it. Taylo, if you... And Melo want to... Want it so badly, just buy it at your parents' shop. Did you see it? Any rubies in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowance or something. But our allowances are terrible. Aw. I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. So what we have to do... If we talk to them again, it says, uh, Come on, Beth. We just want to look at it a little. So can you get it, the slingshot from the shop? Yeah, and you can't do that. Let's just trade families, okay? <laughs> Knock it off! I love the little baby. Alright, so we're gonna head into town. And what we need to do is we need to collect some rupees. Alright. So, here is the town again. In here, I'm pretty sure this is the shop. I'm hoping it's the shop. Yeah. So if we talk to the woman behind the counter, oh, ah, uh. oh my, it's young Link. Welcome, my dear. You, you didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night, and I gave him a scolding. But then he went out and hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry for him. I've exhausted myself. So we can't even begin to look at the slingshot until we find the cat. So, uh, let's begin finding a cat, shall we? Alright. So to start off, let's go find that cat. If we go over here... We take the bridge, I just sort of missed it. We will find the cat is right over here. And runs away the moment that we come to it. Oh, there's money in here. Alright, so what we need to do is uh, a bit odd, you wouldn't really think much of it, but we're just going to start talking to some people. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left early this morning. But I must ask, Link, have you not seen a cradle some flo uh, come floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cr cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? Well, let's do that before we find, uh, Gauz. What we do is we go up here. Yo, Link, try talking to me from there with A while Z targeting. So if you hold down Z and you hit A, you can talk to people from far away. Hey, there you go, over here. Yeah, your voice carries well as usual. Think you can teach me my little tykes to talk to someone from a distance by pressing A while holding Z? So listen, why don't you climb up those vines here, Link? So we just, uh... Head towards the vines, and it'll actually pick you up itself. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? Ha ha ha. I, a cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not why I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there on the edge of the rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with a quick little... movement, couldn't you? Ha! 
So yeah, if you just move forward, it will let you jump across. And what we want to do is we want to pick up it and blow into this. Sounds a lot different from the uh, Epona one because instead of bringing Epona, it will bring you an eagle. Right there. Or a falcon. I'm never quite sure what one it is. Now, a cool thing, this is something that I'm pretty sure you actually have to do, I'm never quite sure, is line it up with that and throw it. And we hit the bee's nest, which will break open. Now, we'll get back to that in a few seconds. I want to uh, <laughs> pick this up again and blow into it. I'm pretty sure I can reach it from here. Hoping I can reach it from here. Uh, this is looking doubtful. If you look over there, there's somebody right there. What we want to do is we want to line this up just right. Ah, no. So we'll just have to jump across the house, onto this one, and onto that one, for these. And as you can see, there's a... Right there, there's a little guy. So we're going to pick up this and blow into it again. Which we'll call another falcon or eagle or whatever it is really bad with uh, animals, so I'm never quite sure. I think it might be a falcon. Just, uh... Sounds more like one. So, it's not reading this at all, is it? Alright. There we go. I think I got that. Yep. And if you look, I just got a basket. So what we'll do with that is uh, take it over to the uh, woman over here with the baby. Oh, Link, that cradle. Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I was supposed to give you. Do you think you could carry the cradle and come, come back to my house? Now, unfortunately, you actually have to walk. You don't have to walk with her. You can run ahead. But you have to wait for her to get back to the house. Which is right here. I guess you don't. Well, that's, uh, my bad. Yes, I have nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. And you get a fishing rod. So if you set it to B... I can't remember where B is. There it is. Um, on the minus selection screen. I'll just bit on polish my son. Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you'd like. So we bring up this. And at B. We now have a fishing rod. So with the fishing rod, what we'll do is we will head over here. And what we want to do is we want to fish. You pull your Wiimote back, and you let it go. And we just wait for a fish to come. Right there. You just wait for the bobber to go under the water, and then you just start pulling on the Wiimote in the opposite direction. The fish is going. And you can catch fish. Huh. Oh. I think I screwed that up. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I gotta remember what you meant to do here. I love the water effects in this game. They're really, really beautiful. More so compared to the rest of the game. 
Caught another fish since I lost that one when I fell in. And the cat will uh, grab it and run. And there goes the cat. Uh, a tabby, I think. I'm not quite sure. Again, I'm really bad with animals. Uh, knowing them. Uh, but the cat ran in. And so we'll head that way. Alright, so let's head back in. Right here. We head in. Uh, we are going to find out that the cat came back. Oh, my Link, you simply must hear this. Just take a look, my little kitty just came back. And he brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute, the way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so you, it's on the house today. Now we get our very first bottle. Has some milk in it, but uh, it replenishes three hearts whenever you use it. So if we talk to her again, you can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. You know, you'd sure... You'd never be do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? Feel free to look around. So if you hit left, we'll find out that we need 30 rupees for the slingshot. Slingshot is 30 rupees. If you want it, bring some money with you. All right, dear? All right. So we're just going to quit out. And uh, I'm going to end it there for today. Uh, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to collect another 27 rupees. I'll see you guys then.